Good morning, Oviedo. It's Thursday, September 23rd, and I'm Brooke Tyler. And I'm Margaret Feminino. With homecoming week just around the corner, the school year is moving quickly, but on today's episode, we're looking at some of what's been new around campus. From a new principal to some new routines everyone's had to get used to. We'll get to all that, but for now, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. One of the biggest changes to campus this year is the fact that we have a new principal. And while she may be new to most of the students, Oviedo High is not new to her. Let's go to Brooke Brennan who has more. This year, Oviedo High School experienced a major change in administration with the arrival of a brand new principal. Uh, originally, actually, I was at Haggerty High School as a science department chair there, and Mr. Lunk was interviewed for an assistant principal position, and he hired me, and I started as an 11-month AP here under his leadership. Well, when she first came into um, Oviedo's and says a principal, um, I was teaching AP Human Geography. I was fairly a new teacher, and she uh, was not over the social studies department, but she still took me under her wing. I uh, still don't know why, but she took a, a real interest in me, and I really have I've always appreciated um, the support, um, but she really just seemed to want to see me grow and prosper, and that's something I, I will always be grateful for. While for several years Dr. Daniel's career took her across the county, she always knew that Oviedo was her home. Um, you know, uh, Mr. Godro, who's my boss, he's the executive director of secondary schools, he called me and he said, how would you feel about going back to Oviedo High School? And um, I talked to him about uh, how positive that would be. They called me and they, the school board had approved it and I was moved immediately back to Oviedo High School. So I was very excited to come back. Dr. Daniels got a great uh, school spirit. She really cares about Oviedo. And so when we heard that she was coming back, of course, we were just super excited because we knew um, you know, morale around campus was gonna go up, the uh, school spirit was gonna go up, and uh, we've seen that already just in the first month, um, some tangible you know, results with that. What makes Oviedo High School special is actually the students and then the community that surrounds it. Everybody um, is very supportive of one another and the students and the teachers and the staff here love to be at Oviedo High School. There's a love of this school and a love of the experience that you get for four years and it's like no other place. That's the number one reason that I wanted to come back is just to have that culture. It is unique to Oviedo High School and it's special. And I, I love, everybody who works here loves being here. They never leave, so that's why I wanted to come back. For Roar TV, I'm Brooke Brennan reporting. Each new school year means alterations to the rules and routines on campus. And this year is no different. From a new set of passes to something students now have to go without, Kylie McFarland has more on general changes to this year's campus. Like all the years, the 2019-2020 school year came with some new additions and procedures around Oviedo High. Probably the biggest thing that we implemented that was new was the new pass system, which basically was because we don't have planners anymore this year. So the protocol was that teachers basically could write passes however they wanted, but that the fallback if you didn't have a system in place was to use the school planner. So we decided to go a little bit more universalized and provide teachers with passes that have their name and room number and extension on them so that A, they don't have to write a pass for a kid that takes away from instructional time. Students can just sign out and grab the appropriate pass and B, if it gets lost, we're able to get it back to who it belongs to. The, the pass policy, we have a pass for when you're in the building and for when you're in from outside the building. That just allows us as administrators, security staff, SROs, other teachers to just kind of make sure kids are where they're supposed to be. Um, last year we saw a lot of kids, you know, using restrooms halfway across campus. You know, they'd be in building eight and they might be in a building 13 restroom, you know, and, and that just to a security staff and to a dean honestly raises questions. You know, why would you walk halfway across campus to use the restroom? Some of the procedural changes aren't limited to school hours. And we're also running some traffic duty out there, making sure that kids are getting to school on time. Basically, the issue was that when parents were coming off of um, like Jessup Avenue, uh, King Street, they were backing up and blocking the bus ramp. So buses weren't able to get in because of the traffic not moving quickly. So when a car pulls up to the front of the school and lets their student out at the very beginning of that car line, everybody behind them has to wait before they can move forward. So our goal is to have all of the cars come up as far as possible all the way to the end past the crosswalk before they let out. 
And not only are campus arrivals being enforced directly, security is cracking down on departures as well. Uh, you know, we're monitoring the parking lots, you know, even more so this school year with the increase in Uber and Lyft and Uber Eats making deliveries and things to school campuses. You know, nationwide there has been problems with those drivers bringing things they shouldn't be, um, being on campuses where they shouldn't be on them. All of this is to increase the safety on campus to make our students safer, to make our faculty safer, to make everyone feel safer. And it's safety that becomes the number one focus as administrators are working to make adjustments each and every year. For Roar TV, I'm Kylie McFarland signing off. That is all we have for you today, Oviedo. As the year marches on, we hope you make it your best one yet. Have a great day and we'll see you back here tomorrow.